Welcome to Mother Daughter, Daughter Projects. Projects. I'm Steph. I'm Nikki. And today is all about home automation. Mom, can you tell us what that is? I can. It's taking something you have in your home already, like a, a light bulb or a garage door opener or a thermostat, and replacing those with smart devices, which then can be used with your phone and controlled via an app. Very good, Thanks. exactly. Thanks. So basically home automation is taking a device and controlling it with your phone, with your tablet, with your watch, etc. And here at Mother Daughter Projects, we are Apple fans, so that's what we're gonna be focusing on, but these work with a lot of different phones and tablets that are out there. Right here, this is a collection of smart devices that I have in my home. And what makes them smart is each of these devices connects to my home Wi-Fi network, and then I can control them with phone, your tablet, your watch, etc. Why would I need, um, say, something like a thermostat? Well, this thermostat, I, I actually installed this three years ago when I moved in, and what I love about it is it automatically knows when I'm home and when I'm not, and so it changes the temperatures based on that, and it basically saves me money because I'm not cooling down my whole house when I'm not here. It also learns what temperature I like it at, so it automatically will set it to cooler when I like it cooler or warmer when I like it warmer. But it ultimately saves me money, and I don't even have to think about it. I never actually go up to my thermostat anymore because I can control it all with my phone. Just recently, I got some smart devices in my own home, and we started with these two lights, and I love being able to control them from wherever I am. I can just have my, my app open, I can turn them off and on from wherever I'm in the house, or if I'm not at home, I can turn them off and on. And I love that convenience of never having to come into a dark house. Yeah, and that's actually how I got started with home automation, was I got lights, these two lights for my house, and then I got this thermostat. And what's really nice about smart devices is it's not one product that's a home automation product, or one company making it. There's a whole lot of companies and products out there so you can customize it for your needs so for example mom loves coffee so she could have a plug that automatically turns on and starts making her coffee in the morning I don't drink coffee so I wouldn't need that but I have this device which I love which I can open my garage from anywhere there's a lot of different products but it's not something that you need all of these products but you can customize and pick and choose for for what your needs are so I see you talking to your watch a lot. What's that about? <laughs> I have a special relationship with my watch. No, um, actually there is a feature called Apple HomeKit that Apple's built into their devices and it's a protocol that they've shared with other companies. And so a company, for example, iHome has built that technology into this device here. So what that means is there's special features that I can use with my phone and this plug that I couldn't with any other device. So for example, I can say, Hey Siri, turn on garage light. And this is great when I'm pulling up to my house and it's dark outside. There are a lot of different products and companies making them, from thermostats to security cameras to garage doors to shades to locks to doorbells, lights, fire alarms, outlets, music, air quality, and more. All these products have apps that go along with it. So before I even get a product, I'll download the app and see how the user interface is. And I'll read the reviews and see if people have positive things to say, if the app is being updated on a regular basis. And that gives me an idea if this is a product that I want to invest in. My husband and I are planning on aging in place in our current home, and investing in some of these devices makes good economic sense for us. They add a layer of convenience for us, some safety, and can save us money in the long run. What kind of smart devices would you want in your home? If you have some questions or concerns, just leave them in the comments and we'll try to answer those in our next video. For more projects, visit motherdaughterprojects.com. Hey Siri, in video. Whatever you say stuff, Siri out. My husband and I are planning on aging in space. <laughs> aging in space. My husband and I are planning- On Mars. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Quiet. Maybe Sheldon and Amy will be there. Yes. 